What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're talking about the different races that are available within the Elder Scrolls Online and I'm really curious to see uh, whoever's watching to, to know what your favorite race in game is. Has that really changed since the start? Uh, have you, did you start off with a particular race for some of your builds and then you decided to go with something else because of meta reasons or because of you know reasons of you just like the look of something better or you want to kind of role play more with a different style class and race? I'm very curious to see kind of the community's thoughts on you know the different races in game and what they like to use before i get into all the details be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button if you are a subscriber make sure you have notifications turned on if you enjoy the video i'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliate here on the channel empire jerky uh, my affiliate link along with a five percent discount code that you can use at checkout is linked down in the description as well uh, when it comes to the very first character I ever made was, of course, a High Elf Sork. This is the character that I made here on PS4. Back at probably the end of 2015, middle of 2015, I started playing the game several months after it came out on console. But that was the very first character I ever made. This is one of the very few characters that I have that I never deleted. I just kept it. Uh, this, I guess you could call this the, the main character that I play with. Um, even though I play with all the characters that I have, um, I, I'm really bad about making characters and deleting them. I had 18 for a long time, then I trimmed it down to 14. Now i got to have it back up to 17. I've been ranking up some new ones. I'm not done with them yet. I have not got them to 50 yet, that is. And uh, I kind of got to the point after a while of playing that I wanted to have a, a, you know, a character in the game with every single race or a class with every single race. Now, of course, when it comes to, you know, if you want to have that meta class for the, uh, you know, in the meta race to be, you know, the best in slot, I'm going to put that in quotations, kind of... Uh, a lot of people stick, you know, with high elves for sorks or, you know, uh, as of right now before update 29, you know, orcs and things for uh, like stam kind of DPS. A lot of people like uh, DKs when it comes to or, you know, DK um, Imperial tanks or maybe even to the point of an Aragonian uh, DK tank. Uh, it, it just depends on, I, I think a lot of people's play style, how they want to approach the game when it comes to what class and what race that you're going to choose. Now, in my opinion, I'm not a, a, a hardcore player where I'm going to go out and score push and try to, you know, find a trial group and be the best player out there. And if, if that's what you like to do, that is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm more of a, I play a lot of solo stuff, solo a lot of dungeons. I do play dungeons with with friends sometimes, uh, guild members sometimes. I do actually go in and, and play trials with, uh, you know, guild members sometimes. But I'm not trying to go in there to have the best, you know, my mentality is not to go in there to have the best, you know, best class with the best race. I just like making some different characters. And that's kind of why I've gotten to the point of I wanted to have a character uh, a creation or a character created in the game with every single race in the game. And so I kind of moved away after a while, after first playing the game from just my normal uh, high elf sork. You know, I had several high elf characters. I had one for PvP, uh, PvP sork, a PvE sork. I had another sork that I had made. Then I decided, you know, I'm going to get rid of some of these. So I kept my PvP sort and my PvE sort, the very first character I ever made. And then I started kind of branching out over the years with some different style characters. You know, just, I have a Breton now. I have a Red Guard now. I have an Orc now, an Aragonian, a Nord, uh, you know, a Dark Elf, a High Elf, of course, a Wood Elf, a uh, Khajiit, and of course an Imperial. And over time, to me, it's become a very enjoyable to play the game with all these different classes set up as different, uh, you know, with different races. Now, some of them may not be like I said, what you would consider meta to be the best thing out there. But the good thing about the Elder Scrolls Online is no matter what race you choose, you can play a certain class with that race, even though if it's not what most people consider the best in slot. I don't think there's really any trash race out there. They may not put out the most damage. They may not be the best at exactly what you built them for. But if you're a person that's kind of like me, you want to have different classes with different, you know, different races throughout the game just for fun, just for looks, just for, you know, uh, lower if you like that kind of thing or if you want it just for to role play whatever the case may be uh, there's something there's something for everyone in the game when it comes to that you can make any race into any class and really enjoy it so leave me a comment with what your favorite race is in game has it always stayed the same have you had the same uh, you know kind of favorite race since you started playing or have you changed up like I said once again because of the meta because you decided to role play because you decided you wanted to stick with lower you wanted to do different classes with different races just for looks Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like and I'll catch you all next time.